By Michael Settle. Dominic Cummings should be compelled to give evidence to MPs about the controversial shake-up in Downing Street, which led to the resignation of the former Chancellor Sajid Javid. The call has come from Ian Blackford, the SNP leader at Westminster, who has written a letter to the Commons Liaison Committee, the committee of all the committee chairmen, urging it to summon Mr Cummings, Boris Johnson's senior number 10 strategist, to explain his handling of the UK government's reshuffle. Mr Cummings is regarded as the power behind the Downing Street throne whose long-running spat with Mr Javid resulted in the Midlands MP resigning just a month before Budget Day after he refused to comply with the ultimatum of sacking all his advisers in the run-up to the creation of a new economic unit, spanning numbers 10 and 11. For many in Whitehall and Westminster this was a naked power grab by the Prime Minister. Rishi Sunak, Mr Javid's deputy at the Treasury was appointed as his replacement as Chancellor with the prospect now of the budget being put back from March 11. Mr Blackford said, The amalgamation of 10 Downing Street and the Treasury has come as a surprise to everyone, including to the former Chancellor. It is substantially in the public interest to summon those involved in designing these changes, we should know their purpose and intent. Dominic Cummings, Boris Johnson's chief special adviser, has been widely reported as the main catalyst for these alterations and so it's right that he is the first to be summoned and required to answer questions on this matter. The MP for Ross, Sky and Lochaber added, it is crucial that key appointed officials, responsible to the Prime Minister, are compelled to give evidence on these changes, in full, in detail and in public. I hope Parliament's Liaison Committee is favourable to facilitating this as a matter of public interest and transparency. In his letter to David Slater, the committee's clerk, Mr Blackford says it is a matter of deep concern that Mr Johnson's planned changes to the heart of government have taken place with no prior transparency and scrutiny and suggests Mr Cummings should be the first to give evidence to MPs at the earliest opportunity. Quoting Commons rules, which state the committee has the power to send for persons, papers and records, the SNP leader notes, your committee has the power to summon Mr Cummings, I would urge you to use it. He adds, it is crucial that key appointed officials, responsible to the Prime Minister, are compelled to give evidence on these changes, in full, in detail and in public. Last year, Mr Cummings, the former head of the Vote Leave campaign, was found in contempt of Parliament for repeatedly refusing to give evidence to MPs over the use of data in a Brexit referendum. However, the finding of Co for more on this story, visit the news article link.